Hey Groovers, happy Tuesday. Shana X Lee reporting in. We have who you forgot you are and your hidden genius. So today, last night, if you didn't catch, I did Crusaders and I'm doing a six part series going across each of the different health types and giving you guys like some really cool like perspectives on how these people show up in the world. And maybe you'll resonate with it. Maybe you'll um, recognize someone else around you who behaves this way and who you feel is a little bit more in alignment with this. And what I'm really aiming to do is bring about a little bit more understanding, a bit more knowledge, a bit more acceptance, because knowledge really is king. So... Today we're discussing diplomats. Now, I am a diplomat health type, just for those who don't quite understand. And my health type means that I am all about the slow, the steady, the strong and steady. I'm the health type that is all about things in my time. So when we're looking at, and last night, if you, like I said, if you haven't watched the Crusader yet, that one was done last night, so check that one out. Um, but diplomats is my health type. And so what this means is, hey, Katrina, hey, Sue, hey, Mark. So a diplomat in the work environment. So it's really funny how um, uh, so many of you have known me and I've done across so many different um, careers, so many different um, interests. I've been a chef, I've been mining, I've done all these things. But funnily enough, it's actually ingrained within my DNA that I will always search through different careers, different options, different ideas in search of the thing that feels good. Like what I do for work has to feel with integrity, with passion, with purpose. It has to feel in every element like I love it, like I'm serving, like I'm here for the greater good. It's actually in my genes, which is really cool. So in the work environment, I actually suck at timeframes. I actually suck at working to a deadline. I actually get overwhelmed if there's diplomats are the sort of people that will see the whole game, like they will see every ounce of everything that needs to be done and quite often if someone doesn't help them to understand how to do uh, have you ever heard the saying eating the elephant one mouthful at a time this is huge for diplomats like you have to be like calm the farm the first thing you need to do like they need to see the end result they need to understand the process and how it needs to happen but then they also need assistance with just making sure they understand what's the first step and that they don't go getting overwhelmed it's really easy for us to get overwhelmed <laughs> sorry for everyone that's in my environment um but we're great at getting things done. We're great at seeing patterns. When we're in passion, when we're in flow, when we feel aligned, when we feel good, this means that we are then able to see the pattern, do the pattern, love the pattern, enjoy the work, a full steam ahead and passionate. Great advocates for whatever we feel in the movement, wherever we believe we need to be. That is us. So a diplomat is someone who's strong and sturdy and who will go the long haul. We're the kind of health type that just doesn't stop. Um, and if you reflect it back to like the olden days, back when we were, you know, cavemen, no, not cavemen, probably Roman times. Okay, so the Romans were like, uh, the, the diplomats were the gladiators. We were the ones that would fight the war and we would be out marching for days and then we'd fight the war and then we'd bring back the wounded to our guardians who would then nurture them and the diplomats would look after everybody and rebuild the town and rebuild this and go, 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 go. Okay, and then eventually they'd pass out because they didn't know how to look after themselves. So... When this thing comes into relationships, diplomats are very much, they like things to be sensual. They like things to be um, emotionally connected. They also are looking for that ultimate connection. They look for the long haul. They look for um, understanding each other. They look for good communication. Diplomats are all about feeling. We need to feel feel into things. We're very expressive. As you can see, I can talk underwater. And that's a big thing for us is being able to understand, and I'm talking about diplomat health types, is to understand that in a relationship, a diplomat wants security. A diplomat wants, and this comes in elements. So a diplomat wants security. A diplomat wants to know that they have all the creature comforts. They want to know that they're supported. They want to know that they're heard, um, which most people do, but diplomats more so. So in a relationship, they're the one that's going to be talking about feeling things and doing things. One thing I know personally, the diplomat still needs to make sure they get enough movement. So if your diplomat is cranky at you, they're probably not cranky at you. They're cranky at the bigger picture. They can see all the things that are going on in the relationship. They are uh, a natural. They go through a natural process of elimination to figure things out. So they've already seen the whole spectrum of everything that's going on around you and they are onto it all. And they're then pissed at their partner if their partner's not keeping up with everything and their partner's dropping the ball or whatever because they see the bigger picture in everything. It always comes back to the bigger picture. When it comes to fun, the diplomats love to have fun, but they will quite often do things in their time frame, in their way. 
They actually still love to have more quality time one-on-one. -on -one. We're great at being in a group, but we do prefer a lot more quality time, a lot more um, essential time together. Um, it's great for like dinner parties. Oh, we love dinner parties because it's about the food, by the way. Hugely about the food, about the conversations, um, but nothing too much. We can go out and be the party goer. We can go out and be the person that's at the front of the stage, having the fun, jumping off the cliffs and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely. But we do still have an equal part of us that really needs that quality connection when it comes to fun. And um, you'll find us doing a, some of the more daredevil stuff quite frequently, depending on which part of the diplomat you are. Because getting to know this, guys, we are actually part of a 360-degree wheel. And every person sits somewhere outside of that wheel, which means you have different variations of different things, which is so exciting when you get to understand that. So then if you're looking at something like a movie character, hmm, the movie character I would simulate a diplomat being would be, uh, I didn't think of this before until now. Hmm. Xena was a diplomat. Yeah. Yeah, she had the great calves, great calves, great structure. You don't have to be necessarily tall like me to be a diplomat. Diplomats are actually one of the ranges of health types that has a broad range of height, but it is just a very even body, good jaw. Um, they have solid bone structure, so they're just very thick boned. Um, you know that saying when they were like, I sit in my bones, that's why I'm so big. And some of us, it actually is legit. Um, so yeah, that would be the health type. <laughs> Um, and I would also, a movie character, I would also probably say, I believe Sandra Bullock is a diplomat as well. Not 100% sure on that one, but that's the one I'm feeling into. Uh, then if you come into school, so in school, I was a person who handed in everything the night, like I was doing all my assignments the night before they were due. Um, I loved being in the activities. Actually, when it came to sports day, I was in every single activity there was. That one day I didn't stop. So diplomats are very good at just the long slog. Um, when it comes to fitness and things like that, we're the people that would prefer to go out on a big mountain hike for five, six hours of the day and, and be out in the wilderness. Fun and entertainment for us is nature bound. So when you have a stressed out, overdone diplomat, they just need to be outside. They probably need to be exercising um, around good people. Money stories. Uh, money stories, gosh me. Diplomats do need structure and security. So as much as they could jump off of a cliff and jump into an idea, a business concept or a money venture, they may do that, but they will have remorse, buyer's remorse, big time. And they are frequently the ones that will ruminate on things. So they will take longer to process. I'll think about it from every single angle, every single thought, every single why, every single why not to. And often they'll be stuck before making a decision. They're the people that you're just like, oh my God, just make a decision. So if you have a diplomat in your life and you see them ruminating on things, just remind them, make a bloody decision. Just do something. Make an action point. Uh, which is what a lot of us can relate to. I know there are elements of every health type in every person. This is where the fun starts in the conversation. So when it comes to money stories, our diplomats are the ones that do need a bit of safety. We do need a bit of structure and security. It's uh, They have this inability to only give 80% of what they have. Why? Because they're here for longevity and they value their life. They value their life force. So uh, physically and in money stories, they will quite often withhold something. They will quite often be the kind of person that will have other accounts with money hidden away as a safety net. Then we come into food. Diplomats are actually capable of the, being relatively close to a vegan, um, relatively close to it, but we still need our, uh, our heavy dip lunches. Like lunchtime is when we eat like a gladiator. So I explain a diplomat to people by saying breakfast, Meh, yeah, nah, light, fruit, maybe a bit of something good. I do still enjoy a good uh, small bowl of um, chili beans and poached eggs on top. Yum, um, as a good breakfast. But breakfast is here nor there, only if you're really hungry. Lunch is when a diplomat will eat like a gladiator. And I mean like the leg. Ah. And then we have our, um, our veggies. Veggies are huge, huge for us. We need the magnesium out of our vegetables. We need the calcium out of our vegetables. Yes, that's right. I said calcium from vegetables, not dairy. Then dinner time, if you've had a substantial enough lunch, which our lunch time, get this, a diplomat lunch time is generally between two and four. So if you're eating a big meal at that time, you really shouldn't be very hungry for dinner. So I say dinner time, you're going to eat like a poor vegan. Does that make sense? Breakfast, meh. 
Lunchtime, gladiator. Dinner time, you're a poor vegan. That's about the only time I'm going to say vegan. Um, then if you look at the language, like I said before, a diplomat is very sensual. We like lovely long words. We like lovely discussions. And diplomats are the health type that are about the feel. So when you're talking to a diplomat, you wouldn't say do too much or you're going to freak them out. You would say feeling. How are you feeling about that? What do you feel you could do more of? What would you feel if we did this? What do you feel like doing? Hey, Angela, I'm discussing diplomats today. Yesterday, if you jump back into yesterday's live I did, was all about crusaders. So with a diplomat, it's really about the language needs to be sensual. It can be elongated. We can waffle along like I do. Sorry about that in advance. Um, so it's really just understanding that each of the diplomat health types, they need the sensual. They do need some structure and protection. We do need things to be sequential and show us the pattern. If we can't see the pattern, we go into stress. If we feel like our time is being taken away from us, we go into stress. Legitimately, I had to message one of my mentors today and went, you know what, I need help with this, can't do it all myself, I feel like I'm overloaded. And he knows, he knows a diplomat and he said, okay, what does not being stressed look like for you? What does support look like to you? What do you feel you need right now? Good words right there. And it was a perfect conversation for me to then go, oh, I feel like I need this. And ta-da, what you ask for, you receive. So understanding the language here, I hope you guys get a little bit through this, is understanding the language that you can use with your people who are like me, a diplomat, is that it's more about the feeling. Don't give me do too much or I'm going to freak out. Don't, um, so it's do, feel and think. Don't ask me to think more. I'm already doing more than enough and that's my problem. Don't think more. Get me to feel more. And that leads to a healthy gut, a happy body, a happy mind. Mm, that's all for diplomats today guys i hope you've enjoyed this little segment join me tomorrow as i will discuss let's go with activators Ooh, activators are an amazing health type i'm bringing this to you guys as an introduction a concept and an understanding of the work that i do and how great it is this isn't just what to eat this isn't just how to train this isn't just all the normal programming that you've been used to this is all about your individuality what i'm giving you is like the horoscope out of the newsletter of what the health type is. The specificity that's within this program is mind blowing in every aspect of your life, whether it be branding, whether it be health, whether it be relationships, whether it be lifestyle, whether it be all those things, you get to encompass and understand so much more. So I love you all to pieces. I hope you enjoy the segments that I'm doing and uh, stay in touch, keep in tune with when I do this because you'll love it. Perfect timing.